Welcome to Quawar Power, my name is Arlo. Today I am pleased to introduce a fascinating family of arachnids, the Salticidae, or as they are popularly known, the jumping spiders. Salticids are the most diverse family of spiders on Earth today, with more than 5,000 described species on all continents except Antarctica. The earliest fossils appear in amber between 40 and 50 million years ago like this Gorgopsina from Poland. Salticids have two large anteromedial eyes and six smaller eyes which are primarily motion sensors. This model demonstrates how the main eyes work. A fixed lens in the front is part of the spider's outer shell. Inside, the eye is tube-shaped, tapering to a smaller magnifying lens at the rear, like a telescope. Six muscles tilt or rotate the eye tube, allowing the spider to make minute adjustments in visual resolution. Behind the tube, the retina has four layers of light receptors, giving the spider extraordinarily acute color vision, from red to ultraviolet. Unlike kangaroos and grasshoppers, salticids use very little muscle to jump. Instead, jumping is accomplished by forcing high-pressure fluid into the rear legs, causing them to extend. Although they can spin silk, they typically don't build webs. Instead, they leave a silken drag line behind them in case they are dislodged from a target surface. They also use silk to build nests and egg sacs. Many jumping spiders are very colorful and engage in complex courtship dances. Jumping spiders are predatory, though some supplement their diet with nectar. They stalk their prey in the manner of cats, pursuing and pouncing. While most are not picky about their meals, some specialize on ants and some specialize on other spiders. These jumping spiders are ant mimics. Many ants have chemical defenses which impart a foul taste, thus sparing them from large predators like birds. Spiders have no such defense, so a good disguise will help them survive. Other jumping spiders mimic beetles and wasps. Camouflage is ineffective against some enemies. This jumping spider has been attacked and digested by the mind-controlling fungus Gibellula. Like most spiders, salticids are harmless to humans. In addition, they eat flies, ants, roaches, and other pests. Please don't kill these friendly spiders. Yeah! like which one is the bad one and which one is not bad? Yeah. That one is probably bad. No, this one's fine. No. How do you realize? Um, here, I'll show you in just a second.